Hello everyone, uh, if you're like me, you get frustrated about the grafted scion, so I uh, found a way to kill him consistently and easily. I start off with the uh, Samurai class Crimson Amber Medallion. Uh, I go ahead and take off a few pieces of gear in order to ensure that I have a light load. The light load will help you roll more effectively. So you'll see here I take off the uh, body, gloves, and pants, and I have a light load. And the Uji Katana weapon is the only one I'll be using, so I will actually two-hand it, which gives a strength bonus to damage, I believe. So we get a little bit more damage from this. Uh, this method will work with any class. I just find the Samurai class to be the easiest to do it with. So first thing I'm going to do is get a free attack as he jumps in. I'll jump and do an R2 and get a nice little chunk of damage. It's not a lot, but it's something. And now I'm really just trying to bait out one attack. It's not this one, although this does have an attack window that you can use, but uh, I'm going with the safest one. It's this attack right here. He swings two hands and then brings him back across and then finishes with a stab here. Now as he stabs, you just roll through and then you get a shot on his side. I just use the R1. I don't get greedy with an R2 there. You usually can get away with that, but sometimes you'll get hit if you do an R2 at, at the wrong time. R1 will always be safe. So this is not the fastest method, but it is very safe. Now, you can see there, the scream actually would have hit me if I had a medium roll. Because I had the light roll, I was able to get out of there, even though I rolled badly the first time. The second roll got me all the way out of range. And I just keep doing this again and again. And uh, yeah, I, I get very frustrated at the idea of uh, something that you're not supposed to beat, but you can beat at the beginning of games like this. So. Uh, I wanted to find a way that when I restart the game, even if it takes me a little bit of time, I'm able to uh, take him out. So this is a different variation, same thing, stabs, but now he's following up with a fifth and a sixth attack in the combo. If he does that, you can roll again and get a second hit off. So the only time you wanna swing again is if you see him follow up with a five and a six attack. You'll see uh, his right side kind of pick up off the ground a little bit as he starts swinging the fifth attack and it's very easy to recognize so uh if not he'll usually turn towards you and when he turns towards you just get the heck out of there but if he just keeps following up with an attack and not turning towards you then you can get away with uh hitting him again um it usually happens more often this time it didn't happen that often so this is probably one of the slowest uh grafted scion kills i've had but uh it works, you know, you just stay patient, stay at a good range, and just keep uh, hitting them. Now, as you're doing this, it's very important to stay focused, and the range you want to keep is a range where he will, uh, it will provoke attacks, but it will keep you safe. And if you start feeling anything odd, just roll away, roll away. When he jumps up like that, just wait and roll a little bit. Here, here it is again. Roll through, stab, he picks up, roll again, and stab again with an R1. Now, when he, <laughs> whenever he stands up tall, get the heck away from him, because he's gonna do either uh, that spinning slash or another combo that's really nasty, so just get the heck away from him. He is to be patient here, don't get greedy, stay in range. Wait for your attack, because this is the easiest attack to fall to uh, to exploit by far, in my opinion. Um, I've tried countering every other attack, and there's always been some window for error, but this one, there pretty much is no window for error, especially with light rolling. There's one follow-up he has that can be kind of annoying. If you're not light rolling, if you're medium rolling, it will kind of hit you because you'll, you might mistime the roll, but if you're light rolling, you'll get too far out and it won't be able to hit you. Now again, uh, don't get greedy. And uh, here, just he follows up, hit him again. I could have hit him again probably there without any issue, but I've come this far. I've been fighting him for about almost 10 minutes at this point, and uh, what's a few, you know, 20 more seconds to wait for another attack, so. Finally, he's dead. And uh, this method has worked for me multiple times. It's uh, I can start getting a little more greedy as I learn the fights more, but uh, once you do that, it's all smooth sailing. So uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, see you later. Bye.